Good morning to all student. I am your physics lecturer. It's been a very long time discussing with you people. In the offline mode, we were discussing a chapter by name called as Kinetic Theory of Gases. And again, we came back to the online classes due to this COVID crisis. And then, ma'am would have completed a chapter by name called as Oscillations. Now today, I'm going to start with you a new chapter that is the last chapter of your first few physics. Is that clear? Before revealing the name of the chapter, let me give you a few example. I don't know whether you people have played during your childhood days, that is going to the pond or going to the tank, near the tank or well. I don't know whether you have sat near that and you would have thrown the stones, that is pebbles in the water. Once you throw the stone or uh, pebbles in the water, what you could have observed in the water is exactly right. This is what you would have observed. Let us consider this is a pond or a well or a bucket of water. Now during your COVID crisis, I don't want you to move out of your home to test this. Just take a bucket in your home and fill the bucket with fully with water. Once it is filled, let the water allow it to settle down. That is the particles of the water, uh, water let them settle down. Now take a stone or take a pebble, drop it at the center. Once you drop at the center, what you can observe in that water means the water which was very calm, it will start to disturb. What will start to disturb? That is the water gets disturbed. That means it forms a circular patterns. What it forms here? Circular patterns. This is nothing but the disturbance that is produced in the water. The circulars or the disturbance that is produced in the water. That circular disturbance which produced in that water, I call it as a wave. What I call it as a wave. Yeah, exactly right. Today we are going to discuss a chapter by name called as wave. What is the name of the chapter we are going to discuss? Wave. Therefore, what is a wave means? It is a sort of disturbance. This is the disturbance which is produced in the water. The disturbance. It is a sort of disturbance which carries that carries the energy. What it does? It carries the energy from one place to the other place. This is called as a wave. What it is called as a wave. Therefore, what is a wave? You have to understand very clearly. It is a sort of disturbance. It is a sort of disturbance produced which carries energy from one place to from one to another place. We call it as a wave. What we call it as a wave. Once again, I am repeating. This disturbance that has set in the water, that is upside downs you would have seen in the water. That upside downs, I call it as a wave. What I call it as a wave. That is nothing but the disturbance produced. What it is the disturbance produced. That disturbance carries what? Energy from that point to the another point. Am I right or not? Now, this circular pattern which has produced, whether it stays in the same place or starts to move from one place to another place. Yeah, it starts to move from one place to another place. That means from the center, it moves to the end of that bucket or end of the pond or end of the well. Therefore, this wave is starting to be in motion that is set into a propagation or transmission from that point to the another point. This motion, I call it as what means? I call it as wave motion what i call it as a wave the wave which has produced that is the disturbance which is set in the medium starts to propagate or move or transmit from one place to another place then that is called as motion what it is called as motion then what is a wave motion means it is it is the propagation it is the propagation of disturbance. It is the propagation. You can remember propagation is nothing but movement or it is nothing but transmission. That is moving, moving disturbance from where to where? From one place to another place. From one to another place. This is one way of saying or another way of saying is nothing but wave motion is a mode of is a mode of transmission it is a mode of transmission i said instead of propagation you can use a word called as what transmission or movement transmission of energy i said disturbance carries what energy 
transmission of energy through a medium in the form of disturbance the form of disturbance are you clear now once again i am repeating the content the foremost thing i introduced is nothing but a wave what it is nothing but a wave it is nothing but the disturbance that is produced in the water or in a medium this is nothing but the disturbance this circular patterns i call it as a disturbance when this disturbance started to occur when you start to put a stone or a pebble it started to observe this disturbance which carries energy from one place to another place i call it as a wave but this is not restricted to a particular place it starts to move from one point to another point that means that is set in a motion then i can call it as that wave is what it is in a motion that's why i call it as a wave motion it is the propagation of it is the propagation of what disturbance from one place to another place or it is a mode of transmission of energy through a medium in the form of disturbance a very important point i'd like to point out this is a bucket of water now you are throwing a stone at the center what you could observe means it starts to form a circular pattern that is upside down it has formed and it starts to move to the end of the bucket am i right or not now you people will have a serious question that is the water which it has started to rise here and go down rise here and go down whether that water is completely moved to the end or only that vibration or only the disturbance is moving from one place to another place that's what i like to clear here just understand clearly take a piece of paper or take a piece of plastic cork i want to take the cork of any bottle and put it in the water and then you drop the stone at the center you can observe that cork will not move from that point to the end of that bucket that cork will move only upside down upside down it will be moving like this upside down upside down i don't know whether you people have observed exactly or not one more example i'll give you i have observed the boat that is near the shores on the seas or on the oceans what you could observe whether that boat is moving from the surface of the water to the land or it is just moving upside down upside down upside down it will start to move upside and down it is very important to note that only the disturbance is moving from one point to other point not the particles that is present at that point are you clear i am stressing out very clearly that the entire water molecules will not move from that point to another point only that molecules or that particle will disturb the neighboring particles that will disturb the neighboring particle that will disturb the neighboring particle this is how it transmits for example this is the group of water molecules at rest you have put a stone here that will disturb this molecule this molecule will not move from this end to this end that's what i want you to point out for example this is the wave which is created the wave does not carry this molecule to that end it is nothing but the disturbance that is given to this molecule and this molecule will disturb the next molecule that will disturb the next molecule that will disturb the next molecule that will therefore neighboring molecules it will disturb and this disturbance only is propagating in the form of what means wave keep a very very important note i want to point out that is nothing but disturbance in the medium that is nothing but the vibration or anything is perpendicular to the direction of propagation is perpendicular to the direction you see this is the direction of propagation the particle will move up and down giving rise to the disturbance the wave this is the direction of propagation this is the direction of propagation of that wave that wave is moving in this fashion in this direction and the waves are oscillating in a perpendicular disturbance in the medium that is upside down upside down upside down is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave this is the wave that is moving and this is the vibrations or disturbance these two are perpendicular to the direction of propagation very important note second one the particles or molecules of the medium does not move from that place to another place it does not move from that place to another place it just transmits 
द डिस्टर्बेंस और वाइब्रेशन टू द नेबरिंग टू द नेबरिंग आर्टिकल्स this is the very important to note i would like to pro point out this is the direction of propagation direction of propagation is nothing but the wave motion this is the wave that is moving in this direction that all the waves will go and strike the edges of the container that is the direction of propagation this is the direction of propagation and the waves that is formed they are perpendicular to the directions of propagation that is first point and the particle which is at the first wave will not move to the end of the wave it just disturb the next one that will disturb the next one that will disturb the next one that will disturb the next one that's what i would have pointed here the particle or molecules of the medium does not move from that place to another place it just transmits the disturbance or vibrations to the neighboring particle this is very very important note always keep in the mind this is very very important is that clear now you know what is a wave and what is a wave motion i will i will list out some of the example which you come across in your day to day life the very common is nothing but i was explaining with respect to the water that is nothing but called as water waves it is called as water waves that is very very commonly you can observe now you people are speaking in your home in college everywhere you used to speak to communicate that is nothing but what is coming out of your mouth means that is nothing but the sound what it is nothing but sound and that is also propagated in the form of waves that is called as sound waves what it is called as sound waves and the light is also is an example for what means air waves that is also propagates in the form of a wave that is light waves what it is a light waves and during the earthquake you people would have observed the buildings everything will start to shake the earthquake which is taken place at beneath the ocean it is nothing but we call it a tsunami have you observed which caused a big disaster in our india that is because of the earthquake that is flooding that is because of the earthquake that earthquake produces a wave that wave i call it as seismic waves what i call it as seismic waves etc these are the some of the waves which is commonly encountered in our day to day life water waves sound waves light waves seismic waves and some more i can uh, list out is nothing but in the guitar you people used to have strings when you pluck out the strings what you can observe you can experience the sound that string is plucked out and the string is vibrated in the form of a wave that is also one of the example piano mouth organ trumpet bugle all this is an example for what means it is an example for the wave what it is an example for wave so as of now i would have brought here two important terms and some important points that has to be associated with respect to the wave the first point i brought forward is nothing but a wave what is a wave first you must be knowing wave it is a sort of disturbance produced which carries energy from one to another from one place to another place that one we call it as a wave that is in the water you can form that concentric circles that concentric circles i call it as a wave that is nothing but the disturbance in the medium and that uh, which moves from one place to another place that is movement i call it as propagation or transmission of disturbance from one place to another place i call it as a wave motion what i call it as a wave motion and then i came back to the very important note that is disturbance of the medium is perpendicular to the direction of the pro uh, propagation for example you have dropped a stone that concentric circles will start from the center and moves to the end the point what i am stressing there means the molecules of the water or particles of the mol water are not moving it's just only the disturbance which is carried by them is moving that's what i would have said disturbance in the medium this particle gets disturbed upside down but that disturbance is given to the neighboring particle and that wave and the direction of propagation this two are perpendicular what they are perpendicular the particle that is the cork moves up what it moves up and the wave moves in this direction the direction of propagation and the disturbance how they are they are perpendicular to each other that is 90 degree between them the particles of the molecule does not move from place to play one place to another place it just transmits the disturbance or vibration to the neighboring particles that is molecules that is nothing but molecules and then coming to some of the examples which we encounter in our day to day life with respect to the waves or water waves sound waves light waves seismic waves this is nothing but the earthquake what it is nothing but earthquake in scientific waves in scientific thing we call it as seismic waves what we call it as seismic waves 
as of now you would have have a clear picture about what is a wave and what is a wave motion and what is happening between them only the vibration and the direction of propagation these two are perpendicular how they are perpendicular to each other and some of the examples of the waves you have observed that is water waves sound waves light waves and seismic waves is that clear students next we can move on to the types of waves now we are going to see about the types of waves this is the main branch where the waves has been classified that is nothing but types of waves the types of waves has been classified into three types the first type second type and the last one is nothing but third type the first type we call it as what means we call it as a mechanical wave what we call it as a mechanical wave what it is called as mechanical waves and the second type we call it as electromagnetic wave electromagnetic waves and the third type we call it as matter waves what we call it as matter waves this one very detail you will study in the second year and this one you will study very detail in your second year this is your eighth chapter of your second pure physics and this is your 11th chapter of your physics is that clear now coming back to this this is what you are going to study very detail in the first few that is nothing but mechanical waves and i will say what is electromagnetic wave and a matter wave also then only i have a clear picture with respect to mechanical with respect to electromagnetic and with respect to the magnetic waves first coming to the mechanical waves what is a mechanical wave i don't know whether you people have observed or not let us consider a string that is nothing but which is present in a guitar no sir i don't have a guitar to dry your clothes or to soak your clothes you would have had tied a string in your upstairs to dry that am i right go to that string and put on the clothes on that is that clear let us consider this is the clothes which you have hanged over there these are the clothes we just pull the shirt or the cloth at the one end it is you can observe that the last cloth will move upside down upside down have you observed that that is nothing but the way which you have given here it starts to propagate what it starts to propagate from one place to another place that means mechanical waves are produced only in a medium here what is the medium i am using solid that is nothing but a string or it is nothing but a string no sir let me go to the surface of the water and drop a stone in the water on the surface of the water what you can see you can see the same thing upside downs upside downs upside downs there also it requires a medium what it requires a medium that is liquid water you would have used and coming to the gases in gases also you can use that is nothing but i'm shouting i'm speaking to you people in front of uh, you and me between them what is there air air is also a medium therefore this type of waves we call it as mechanical waves what we call it as mechanical waves what are mechanical waves means mechanical waves are produced only in a medium only in a medium which possess that medium should possess these two properties possess two property the first property is called as elasticity that medium should produce possess what elasticity and it should possess the another property that is called as inertia what it is called as inertia therefore what are mechanical waves means mechanical waves are produced only in a medium it is produced only in a medium which possess only in a medium which possess what it should possess it should possess elasticity and it should possess inertia this is called as mechanical waves once again i am listing out the sounds that is produced in a string in the flute trumpet everything and on the water and between you and me conversations all this is an example for what means it is an example for mechanical waves because in all this it requires a medium that is solid liquid and gas this medium should possess the property called as elasticity and inertia examples i could list out here it is nothing but some of the examples for that is water waves sound waves seismic waves etc all these are some of the examples for what mechanical waves here water is an example for liquid sound is an example for air seismic is an example for solid therefore here three state here it is liquid and here it is nothing but air and here it is nothing but that is gas and here it is nothing but solid rock 
what it is nothing but wrong therefore all this requires a medium to propagate that is why it is called as what kind of wave it is a mechanical wave what it is a mechanical wave what is a mechanical wave means mechanical waves are produced only in a medium which possess elasticity inertia example for that is nothing but water that requires a medium called as liquid and sound waves that requires a medium called as gas and seismic waves requires a medium called as solid example is nothing but rocks what it is nothing but rocks therefore be very clear with your mechanical waves mechanical waves requires a medium to propagate without a medium it cannot be propagated coming to the second type that is nothing but an electromagnetic wave coming to a second type that is nothing but what we call it as electromagnetic wave what is an electromagnetic wave from here itself i can define here it requires a medium here it does not requires a medium here electromagnetic or produce that is does not require any it does not require any material medium for propagation that is transmission otherwise transmission of wave the second type i would link bring forward is nothing but electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves does not require any material medium for the propagation or transmission of the wave very detail you will study under the second pew eighth chapter of your physics i don't want to stress much more on this it does not require any material medium for the propagation or transmission of the waves example i'll give you this is our sun and this is our earth between these two what is present the medium that medium is nothing but we call it as vacuum what it is called as vacuum that is no material medium is that clear therefore from sun what we get we get a light what we get light during the uh, day time you are able to see all the objects because of the availability of the sun and during the night time also you are able to see using the moon moon is also a luminous object therefore in uh, this two for transmitting what means the transmit light and heat therefore i am speaking only about the light this are called as electromagnetic spectrum because example for electromagnetic waves is nothing but electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum i'll tell you examples for electromagnetic spectrum is nothing but radio waves radio you people are uh, nowadays you are not using uh, in olden days it has been a very key information for the transmission of news and everything but nowadays you are using it for uh, youtube all the purpose that is radio waves next is nothing but micro waves next is ir rays visible that is your light rays next is nothing but uv and next is x ray and last is nothing but gamma rays this all are called as electromagnetic spectrum this is all this you will study very detail under this electromagnetic waves under the chapter by name called as electromagnetic waves in your second view i am not going to that just uh, keep this in your mind does not require any material medium for the propagation of uh, transmission of the wave that is it transmits it can transmit through the vacuum at what speed all these waves are coming means that is velocity or speed speed of wave what is the speed of this electromagnetic wave means that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second for one second it can travel how much 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters how much it can travel 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters that is for one second that is the speed of this electromagnetic waves it does not require any material medium but it requires a material medium like solid liquid and gas but here it does not require any material example is nothing but vacuum what it is nothing but vacuum coming to the third type that is nothing but your matter waves what it is nothing but a matter what is a matter means anything which has mass and occupy space you call it as matter what matters are made out of it is made out of fundamental particles like electron proton neutron all and other fundamental particles and some more particles are there electron proton neutron all these are called as fundamental particles what is a matter wave now matter wave what is associated with respect to this particle sir you can ask me now that is the matter of the question here therefore what are matter waves means these waves are produced matter waves are produced
are produced are produced by the particles are produced by the particles they are produced by the particles like electron proton and the other fundamental particles that is neutron bosons mesons all it is there not going in details in motion when all these particles are in motion once again i am repeating what are matter waves means matter waves are produced by the particles like electron proton and fundamental particles all these particles should be in what motion this is your atom at the center you are having proton and neutron that is orbited by what it is uh, electron is orbiting around it is that clear this electron proton neutron when all are in motion they starts to emit the waves these waves are called as matter waves what they call it as matter waves therefore once again i am repeating what is a matter waves means these are sort of associated to the fundamental particles of the atom or matter these are produced by electron proton and fundamental particles when they are in motion they are they have to be in what motion only then it is called as what matter waves what it is called as matter waves example is nothing but proton electron and neutron example for this is electron proton etc is that clear now let us come to the end of this content that is types of matter what it is nothing but types of matter what are the types of matter we have seen in our today's class there are three types of matter the first one is called as mechanical second one is called as electromagnetic waves and third one is called as matter waves second is electromagnetic waves and third is called as matter waves what is mechanical wave that is whatever the waves we come across with respect to the medium those are called as mechanical waves without medium whatever the things you come and encounter that is called as electromagnetic waves whatever is associated with the fundamental particles of a atom or matter we call it as matter waves these are the three things they are produced in a medium they are not uh, produced in a medium that means it does not require any material medium this is associated with electron protons and other fundamental particles this example for mechanical waves or water waves sound waves or seismic waves and the example for here it is nothing but electromagnetic spectrum under that someone will be there this someone very detail you will study at what speed the light is coming from sun to earth means it is coming at a speed of 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per seconds and coming to the last type that is nothing but matter waves example for that is electron proton and neutron etc all these are called as fundamental particles is that clear now as of now you know what is a wave what is a wave motion and what are the types of waves i said this two will be studied very detail in your second pure physics so i am not going to deal with this i am going to deal only with this part that is nothing but mechanical waves this mechanical waves are produced only in a material medium that is solid liquid and gas which possesses the property called as elasticity and inertia now we are going to discuss only about the types of the mechanical that means we are going to discuss only about the mechanical waves now let us see what is a mechanical wave you know what is a mechanical wave these are produced only in a medium which possesses the two property that is elasticity and inertia now we are going to discuss only about the mechanical waves what is a mechanical wave means that requires a material medium which possesses the property of elasticity and inertia now let us study about the mechanical waves this mechanical waves has been classified into two types into omni types two types the first one they call it as transverse wave what they call it as transverse wave and the second one they call it as longitudinal second one they call it as what longitudinal longitudinal waves first one is called as transverse waves second one we call it as longitudinal waves first i will explain with respect to the example so that you can have a clear picture of what is transverse and what is a longitudinal wave first coming to the transverse wave what is a transverse wave let us go to a very common example which you have encountered that is nothing but a string what i am considering a string or on the surface of the water on the surface of the water this is made out of what water molecules this is nothing but water molecule i am discussing this is surface what it is the surface of water otherwise we can consider no sir i don't want to consider the surface of water i'll consider the guitar string i'll consider the violin string 
if not i'll consider the string that is tied in my terrace to soak and dry the clothes that string i'll consider imagine this is the particles that the string is made out of is that clear if you pluck at one point what you can observe this particle will start to vibrate what will start to vibrate this is the mode of vibrations this is vibrations what it is nothing but vibration this arrow mark indicates the vibrations or disturbance it is nothing but vibration or disturbance once this are set into vibration what you can observe means you can observe this will produce a wave like this it starts to produce and it starts to move is that clear and this is the direction of propagation it has started at this point and it ends at this point this is the direction of propagation this is direction of propagation and this is the vibration what it is the vibration this is the vibration of the particle and here it is this is the vibration therefore this is the vibration or disturbance and this is the direction of propagation how they are they are perpendicular to each other then this type of waves we call it as what means we call it as transverse wave what it is called as transverse wave then what is a transverse wave i can define means transverse wave these are waves in which this particles of the medium that is nothing but the particles of the medium transverse wave i am going to define it as or waves transverse waves or waves transverse waves or waves in which the particles of the medium in which particles of medium in which the particles of medium vibrate perpendicular that means 90 degree perpendicular means 90 degree to the direction of propagation to the direction of propagation once again i am repeating what is a transverse wave means transverse waves or waves in which the particles of medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation all these particles are set into what vibration or disturbance and this vibrations or disturbance are produced perpendicular to the direction of propagation this is the wave that is moving and the particles are vibrating perpendicular and direction of propagation direction of propagation and vibration these two are acting in what angle they are acting in an 90 degree then this type of wave we call it as what wave transverse wave what we call it as transverse wave for transverse wave it has to obey two property that is this medium should have elasticity and it should have force of cohesion cohesive force i would have discussed go to that chapter and have a glance of it now elasticity which is the most elastic material is say means that is nothing but solid then solids all the solids exhibits what type of waves transverse wave therefore most of the solids exhibits what a transverse wave and uh, you can observe on the surface of liquid surface of liquids only this is all about what means about the transverse wave still very detail i will explain the structure of this uh, wave before going to that first have a glance what is a transverse and then what is a longitudinal is that clear is there any doubt in this once again i am repeating mechanical waves has been classified into two types the first type you call it as transverse wave second type you call it as longitudinal wave before going to this let us understand in detail let us consider this is a string or a surface of the water or string or surface of water therefore in this what you are observing means if you put your stone at one end the cork will move upside down only it will not move from that end to that end but the waves will be moving from one end to another end that is called as a direction of propagation and the disturbance of that that cork is moving upside down that is vibration or waves in which the particles of the medium vibrate to the direction of propagation therefore perpendicular to the direction of propagation therefore arrow mark indicates the vibration or disturbance and this arrow mark indicates the red color one is nothing but direction of propagation and the material for transverse wave should obey elasticity and force of cohesion elasticity which is more elastic uh, solids are more elastic than solid 
all the solids give rise to what kind of wave? Transverse wave and surface of liquids only give rise to what kind of wave? That is nothing but transverse wave. What it is a transverse wave. Now I will explain the structure of the wave. Just see clearly. This is the wave which I have drawn here. Once again I will draw that wave. This is a wave. Is that clear? This is a wave. What it is a wave. What wave it is a? Transverse wave. It is a transverse wave. And the particles, this is a string is made out of or the surface of the water is made out of particles. This particle are vibrating. See here, the vibrations. This is the vibrations or disturbance. Is that clear? The red color indicates the direction of propagation. Arrow mark indicates what I said. Vibration or disturbance. Is that clear? This maximum displacement. You can see here. At this point A, B, C. It is having maximum displacement. It is having what? Maximum displacement. And this is your Y axis. Positive Y axis. And this is your negative Y axis. Am I right? The maximum displacement. See here. All these cases it is having maximum this maximum displacement maximum displacement in which axis positive axis very important in positive axis from where their mean portion this is called as mean portion and this ends are called as extreme portion maximum displacement in positive axis about its mean position this a B, C, they call it as what means crust, what they call it as, what they call it as, crust, what they call it as, crust, be very clear, what is crust means, this hump which you have seen, with a maximum displacement, maximum displacement in positive axis, this is in positive y axis, about its mean position is called as crust, what it is called as, crust, and sir, here also it is having maximum displacement, yeah exactly right, but this is having in which axis? Y axis. If it is in negative axis, then that is called as trough. Then D and E, I call it as trough. What I call it as trough. This is elevation and this is halo. Hump down. Therefore, trough is having maximum displacement. This is also having maximum displacement. But in which axis? Negative axis. About main position. This is called as trough. Therefore, crust and trough two word I have introduced. If you see the word crust and trough, close your eyes and say it is what kind of wave? Transverse wave. What it is a transverse wave. Once again, I am giving you a hint here. Be very, very clear. What is a transverse wave means? These waves are produced in, in a medium. It is produced in a medium in which the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation. They are vibrating perpendicular to the direction of propagation example i gave you is nothing but surface of water or string the cork which you have put on the water will move upside down but the wave will be moving from that point to the end of that bucket right that is direction of propagation that is from that point to end of the bucket but the cork is moving upside down that is vibration arrow mark indicates the vibration or disturbance and from this the transverse wave material which is produced in that material or that medium should obey these two property Elasticity and force of cohesion. Elasticity means uh, most of the element or uh, solids are mostly elastic. In solid, all solids is an example for what wave? Give rise to transverse wave. On surface of the liquid, surface of the liquid, not inside the bucket of water. I am saying on the surface of the bucket. Is that clear? Yeah, have a note of it. And then explaining the structure of the wave here. Let us consider this is the structure. Along the x axis it is moving and along the y axis it is moving the vibrations in this fashion maximum displacement in positive axis this is mean position at the center point we call it as mean position and then this is called as crust here also maximum displacement but in what axis y axis and it is called as trough what we call it as trough this is all about what means it is all about the transverse wave now i'll give you the example for the transverse wave the example for transverse wave is nothing but already i said string surface that is nothing but all string instruments. String instrument, guitar, violin, sitar, 
all uh, piano i'm saying acoustic piano all this is an example for string instruments is an example for transverse wave on the surface of the water water waves on surface on surface only only on surface this are the some of the examples for what kind of wave transverse wave is that clear students very three points i would have pointed out particle of the medium will be vibrating perpendicular to the direction of propagation and then the material medium should obey this two property elasticity and force of cohesion that means most of the solids are elastic and those are the examples that is string experiments and only on the surface of the liquids that is water waves and the structure of the wave this maximum displacement in the positive axis we call it as crest and in the negative axis we call it as trough this vibrations are perpendicular to the direction of propagation that is x axis x axis is direction of propagation and y axis indicates the displacements what it is indicating the displacement is that clear students this is all about the transverse wave it is all about what kind of a wave transverse wave now coming to the last type of a mechanical wave that is called as longitudinal wave what it is called as longitudinal wave first i'll give the example so that you can understand it very clear let us consider what is a longitudinal wave i'll tell you let us take a pipe what i am taking a pipe no sir i don't have a pipe okay flute and that is put a hole in a pipe if not by a flute in that you can see like this this is the flute this is the way you used to blow is that clear if not let us consider a air column what i am considering a air column and this is a piston what it is a piston and this is your handle which is used to move in trumpet also they used to move like this now consider that if not you consider a air column this is a air column air column means in between them what is present air this is the air molecules which is present equally distributed like this they are equally distributed when you push this when you push this and when you pull this what you can observe means the air which is very close to the piston air molecules which are very close to the or pushed away then they get congested like this and again i am considering this air column to be a layers what it to be a layers and again the air molecules which is present here will be pushed here more air molecules gets crowded here very less air molecule where more air molecules you can find this region more air molecules and here very less air molecules very less air molecules the region where more air molecules are present i call it as compression what i call it as compression where i find very less i call it as rare fraction what i call it as rare fraction what i want you to say here means this is the way where through this hole only what is coming out sound that is nothing but direction of propagation and all these molecules are moving along the directions here when you push this this is also moving in the same direction that molecules this is the vibration this is the vibration all are moving to the same point therefore what i am trying to bring forward means what is a longitudinal wave means longitudinal waves or waves this are also or waves in which the particles of medium vibrate here you use the word called as perpendicular here vibrate along its direction it is vibrating along its direction of propagation it is vibrating along its direction of propagation it is vibrating along its direction of propagation then this type of waves we call it as what wave longitudinal wave here they were vibrating perpendicular but see the molecules all are vibrating or they are moving in the same then it is called as what it is called as longitudinal wave what it is called as longitudinal wave here two word i have introduced one is called as compression another one is called as rare fraction first let me tell what is compression let us consider this is the air column i said here it is air is molecules are equally distributed when you have a piston let us consider it to be a layers what it to be a layers when you push this cylinder what happens the air molecules which are present here all will be rushed to one layer and here very less number you can find again the molecules which is present here will be rushed here that means this molecule is moving in this directions 
and the vibration also is moving in this direction and direction of propagation where more number of air molecules you can find then it is called as what means you call it as compression uh, that means density is more density is more uh, density is more means number of force acting per that unit area we call it as what pressure and density is more compression is the region where the more air molecules are crowded such that density and pressure are more compression what is compression means it is a region in which more air molecules are crowded or more particles are crowded such that pressure and density is more we call it as what compression see in this area all very less number of molecules then that one we call it as rare fraction what we call it as rare fraction that means here very less number of molecules means the density will be what low and pressure is also low pressure and density are low here it is pressure pressure and density are low then it is called as what rare fraction it is called as rare fraction and above one is called as what compression and below one is called as rare fraction understood or not this is all about the mechanical waves about what mechanical waves mechanical waves are of how many types there are two types how many types there are two types that is nothing but that is nothing but transverse wave longitudinal waves crust trough then it is transverse compression rare fraction then it is a longitudinal keep these two key notes in your mind crust trough if you see then immediately it is a transverse what it is immediately a transverse crust trough means what it is immediately a transverse only compression rare fraction then it is called as what longitudinal wave example here it is string instruments water instruments all that here examples i can give is nothing but it can be produced in solid liquids and gases therefore all those things are an example for what for a longitudinal wave for what kind of wave it is a longitudinal wave it is produced in solids liquids and also gases but this is produced only in what solids and surface of the liquid solids and surface of liquids but here it can produced in solids liquids and gases in what gas all wind instruments all wind instruments wind instruments is an example for what it is an example for longitudinal waves if not consider a spring spring i don't know whether you people have played with a spring bangle if you move that spring bangle one such certain region it will be compressed more here it will be more stretched that compressed area we call it as compression that a very gap area we call it as rare fraction that is also an example for what means longitudinal wave all springs are an example for longitudinal wave all your string instruments all wind instruments here it is produced on the surface of the water here inside the water we call it as what longitudinal waves this is all about the types of mechanical waves very important topic we have discussed in our today's class that is nothing but mechanical waves and its types here it is occurring only in a medium called as solids and liquids that is surface of the liquids but whereas here it can take place on solids liquids and gases inside the medium is that clear ma thank you